They fighting each other, beating the hell out of each other. Protesting and they other people yelling, they're like, yo, you fighting the wrong people. They don't care, they pull out the guns and start busting at each other, trying to kill each other. Yo, Facebookies. How's everybody doing? Told y'all I was gonna make this next video. This is my last one for the day. But it's a part of the same topic, you feel me? And it's a topic that needs to be discussed. It's not discussed enough. And I notice people do try to say it, but because they ain't they're not black, it doesn't get it doesn't get talked about. Alright. I got five. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, look. Black lives matter, right? I agree. I agree. Totally. When do they matter to us? I shared a video last night. In Indianapolis, people were out there protesting, right? Against police brutality and black lives being murdered, black lives being killed, right? We all seen that. It's been all over the country. But yet, I drove past Golo yesterday and Gary, my brother was dead, corner was out there. Guess who killed him? It wasn't the police. It was somebody that looked just like him. Somebody that looked just like me. Somebody look just like you, black man. Indianapolis, shootout. They fighting each other, beating the hell out of each other. Protesting and they other people are yelling. They're like, yo, you fighting the wrong people. They don't care. They pull out the guns and start busting at each other, trying to kill each other. So when do black lives matter? When are we going to say that black lives matter all the time and stand up to the people in our own communities? that take black lives, that aren't police officers, that aren't prosecutors locking them away. You feel me? You know how many people's faces I see on a t-shirt on an everyday basis, man? You know how many of my people get killed every day? You know how many of my people I lost personally in my lifetime due to just violence in the hood? You feel me? We don't care about our own lives. So how the hell are we gonna expect the system to care about it? How the hell are we gonna expect them to want to change anything when we out here killing each other? They don't even gotta do nothing. Literally, they can make the police take a fucking month off. One month. And police will, let, let it be told that police ain't gonna answer to calls. And you know what's gonna happen? Niggas gonna die. Places gonna get robbed. Women gonna get beat. All types of crazy shit. When do black lives matter to us? When do we look at our brother and say, yo, man, chill. That's your brother. When do we say, nah, man, we ain't from the game bang with what, just because you weren't another color, look, look at the color of our skin. When we gonna say, you know what, man, that's a woman. Don't do that. When we gonna say, man, there's kids out there. Don't shoot that block up. You know how many kids get killed in Chicago on the regular? And ain't the police killing the kids? Touchy subject, I know. It's messed up. Black Lives Matter will come out and, and, and start a race war. They won't come out and deal with our race. When's that gonna start? Once I see that, then I'll get behind a movement wholeheartedly. But I'm never gonna back something that only comes out to race bait. I'm not gonna do it. I'm biracial. I'm black and white, you feel me? My dad is black, my mom is white. Got some native in there. I was raised by a Mexican. So I'm like a homemade Puerto Rican, and I got a lot of Arab friends. You feel me? I'm cool with everybody. A lot of circles, been everywhere, talk to a lot of people. When is black lives gonna matter to black people? You want it to matter to police, you want it to matter to the system. When is it gonna matter to us? When is our lives gonna matter to us? You gonna be real about it, man. Be real all the way across the board. If you're gonna say black lives matter, then make sure that they matter in your community. When a motherfucker is out there trying to kill a brother man or they about to, you know, they game banging and shit and they flashing signs and colors. I used to do it. I'm not exempt from this. I'm not speaking to you as somebody that's ignorant to it. I was raised in the hood. I was a game banger. I go, I was, bruh, I went hard. Mine. You feel me? Didn't know no better. So when we gonna educate our younger man to do better? Why the hell is there still gangs? Why ain't the gangs helping the community? 
You feel me? We killing each other. And you want to be, be mad about the police killing somebody that you don't even know. You don't even know. When you gonna get mad at your brother for killing your brother? When you gonna get mad at your brother for killing your sister, hurting your sister? When you gonna get mad at your brother for killing the kids? Instead, we get in praise. You see the niggas in the hood, and they flashy and shit, and they doing everything that they want to do, and they got money, and they got nice cars, all the females like them and shit. When you gonna stop them and check them, tell them, yo, stop poisoning the community. Stop selling that shit in our hood. You ain't gonna do it. You know why you ain't gonna do it? Because black lives don't matter to you. They only matter when you want them to. You feel me? Be real across the board with it, y'all. If black lives gonna matter, make them matter all the time. In every city. In every circle. You feel me? Don't get hyped up by these people. They trying to race bait you. I'm letting you know that right now. I hope y'all share this video as much as you did the other one. I didn't know that my platform was that big. I didn't know I was gonna go viral. But I'm, since y'all listening to me, listen to that. Black man, brown man, yellow man, red man, white man, come together. Stop the shit in your community. White man, stop the, stop the, the brother to tell you, you know, them niggas. You feel me? Forget them niggas because they black. Brown man, stop the ones that say that pinche mayate, bro. We got to get him out the hoodies of Kusau. Brother, stop your brother from saying, yo, man, forget that nigga. He hang with the ops. Y'all got to do that. If you want change, let's change. Start in your community. Start changing your community. Let's change the way we think. In the words of Pac, let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. Let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we got to do to survive. But still, we see no changes. Make the change. Then you'll see the effects. Then you'll see things start to be better. Then you'll see a less uh, rise in crime. You'll see less police brutality. They won't have nothing to do it for. You feel me? Stop giving them a reason. It's not just because we being black. Shit, they got a, a fucked up image of us because of the shit that we do to ourselves. You feel me? And that's my opinion on it. I hope. You know, I hope this one go viral. I hope it reach everybody's ears, man. Come together. Every hood. Every hood come together. Not just against the police. Come together against the people that make the calls for the police. You feel me? Let's end that. Live in peace. We got kids. I got all my babies running around me right now. Safely. It's messed up. I can't even take them around my neighborhood just because I don't know what's going to happen. Last time my kids was in, in, in the neighborhood... And we was walking around the neighborhood. Little girl got killed. Rest in peace, Lauren. You feel me? My brother got killed. Rest in peace, Chris. The night before that, my other little brother got killed. Rest in peace, Bobby. Be real about it. Let's stop that first. Before we start trying to take on everything above us. Let's get us in check. You feel me? Y'all be peaceful. Have a good day. Be blessed, man. All right? Remember. The truth is out there waiting to be found. Wake up. Take the red pill. Join the red pill in vogue. Break the matrix. Free your mind. Take the red pill.